The idea for Zero Latency first began really when we were kids. We would play virtual reality experiences at arcades in horrible, low resolution, terrible quality graphics. Back in those days, we dreamed of what we can do now. We sort of really started as a shared vision to do something that hadn't been done before, allow you to play a video game like it's real life and try to build, I guess, the biggest, most immersive game that you could possibly play. Just through experimenting and really just wanting something to play with, we started to build Zero Latency. No one had ever played any VR games before and putting people inside, seeing the power of what that immersion could do, we really realised we were onto something. With Free Roam VR, you are the character in the game. You're actually moving, you're actually taking steps in the real world. To open the first Free Roam VR experience in the world anywhere, it felt absolutely amazing. This is at a time when most VR was cardboard devices strapped to your face, and we went straight to a 400 meter Free Roam VR experience. We were instantly sold out for months. People loved it. Even when it wasn't working particularly well, like I would say the first couple of months were pretty rough. During the first week were like, all that's too heavy, so we have to redesign the guns. What we realized, people just want to come with their friends and feel like you are the hero of your own adventure. The key steps in Zero Latency's evolution was really around the technology that we were building and the experiences that we were making. When we worked with Ubisoft on Far Cry VR, Dive Into Insanity, that was quite a long birthing process. I'm a fairly big Far Cry fan myself, and I really wanted to be able to get an experience where you could be part of that world in a safer way. So that was a really, really important game for us to develop. We're finally where we wanted the technology to be 10 years ago. It's like, great, this is easy. You don't need to recharge it as much. Just put a headset on, pick up a controller. You walk into a game like it's real life. We've constantly been trying to remove as many wires as we can. And now we've been able to get rid of the backpacks entirely. Cannot be understated what an important step that was. Now the work can begin. <laughs> It has been amazing watching Zero Latency grow from where it started off just in my garage. It was just a really special moment taking something from an idea into reality. Now when we look back, we've got 100 venues around the world. We've got so many more things we can do and so many more experiences to make. We're gonna have Space Marines as on our lineup and more games coming. There's more demand than ever for interesting immersive experiences to do out of home and it just becomes baked into something that you do. Like you go bowling, like you might go and play pool, you go and play zero latency.